Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stefano Bernardini and today I show you how to expose a SOAP web service with the MuSoft. Okay, uh, just a little bit of definition. Uh, what is a web service? A web service is a software system that supports interoperable, interoperable machine to machine interaction uh, over a network. And uh, uh, a SOAP, a simple object access protocol, is a messaging protocol specification for exchanging structured information in the implementation of web services uh, in computer networks. And uh, WSDL, uh, WSDL is a web server description language uh, in an XML based interface description language that is used for describing the functionality offered by web service. With MuleSoft, we can use the API kit uh, SOAP connector. Um, let's go. Uh, this is the, the step we follow in this tutorial. Uh, first, uh, firstly, the WSDL creation. Uh, then we uh, we move on uh, MuleSoft uh, for the flow creation, and uh, we um, we val validate uh, it. Uh, at the end, we test with the SOAP UI. Let's go. Okay, we will create uh, a WSDL a WSDL in Eclipse. Okay, uh, in order to do this, uh, we just uh, create uh, a new Java project. It's not very important, the name. Okay, and then inside uh, we will create uh, a new um, WSDL, WSDL. Okay, and let's check, let's search for a WSDL file. Okay. Uh, Example one. Okay, and now we can create uh, also we can modify the target in the space. Uh, uh, at the moment is not uh, is not very important. Okay. Okay, this is our uh, uh, example WSDL uh, WSDL. Let's modify a bit. Uh, for example, uh, the first operation is a greet operation. We receive uh, uh, the name, uh, the name uh, of the uh, person in input. For example, name, and uh, uh, we uh, the, we greet that person in output. Okay. So this is our structure. Okay. Greet, re greet and greet response. We want, uh, uh, for example, create uh, another operation, uh, a simple operation, uh, some operation. Okay. In the some operation, uh, we have two, uh, two input. The number one, that is a, a, an, integ an integer. And uh, with add another element, uh, the number two, the second number that is an integer okay we go, uh, go back to uh, the WSDL and uh, uh, let's uh, um, and the response we want uh, uh, give result as a name that uh, an integer okay uh, so the WSDL is uh, uh, pretty completed okay Okay, let's uh, uh, generate a binding content. Overwrite. Okay, let's save. Okay, our WSDL is ready. Let's uh, copy and paste to a new file. Alexa, stop. Alexa, I want to <laughs> stop. Please stop, Alexa. I don't want you no more. Okay, what's the end? Okay. This is example one was the end. Okay. Uh, let's go back to MuleSoft. Okay. Let's create a new project. My uh, C is WSDL. Let's import, uh, let's click on import REML. We don't import any REML, but we import uh, WSDL. Okay. 
location on the desktop. Okay. Um, you also to recognize uh, uh, the uh, service and port. Let's click finish. As you can see, uh, uh, Musop recognized the two uh, operation. We can uh, now we can make uh, the complete the, the implementation. Okay, this is the input. Uh, this is the response. We just uh, remove this uh, soap for part. We don't need it at the moment. We just uh, map the input with the output and uh, uh, plus uh, the hello so hello plus plus uh, the name okay this is the implementation of the grid uh, service the grid operation uh, and uh, this one is the implementation of the sum uh, sum operation uh, we don't need any fault at the moment we just uh, uh, map the number one to the result to the result Okay, the result is number one plus number two. Okay, and so uh, even the second uh, implementation is ready. Okay, we don't need uh, double uh, write application XML, we just need one. Okay, uh, so at the moment uh, we complete uh, the implementation of this simple uh, web service. We can just uh, we can just run. Okay, let's check uh, the endpoint uh, of our service. Uh, this is the URI. Our service is on port uh, eighty eighty one. Okay, let's check if everything is okay. We can also open uh, SOAP Y in order to test our service. Okay. We open a new new SOAP project. Okay. Example SOAP one. The initial WSDL endpoint is just uh, HTTP localhost 8081 question mark uh, WSDL WSDL that is the endpoint uh, uh, we use to retrieve uh, our operation uh, it's uh, uh, automatic okay let's check if everything is okay okay as you can see uh, so why uh, call the retrieve endpoint and recognize uh, the uh, two operation so let's check if everything is okay name for example bob okay hello bob there is something that is not working correct let's check okay maybe Ah, we don't remove the second application XML. Okay. Let's rerun. Okay. In the meanwhile, uh, let's. Uh, Okay, this, the number one is three, the number two is four. Uh, so at the end, uh, the, the response in the rest will be the, uh, a seven, I think. Okay, we almost complete. Okay, let's test the, the sum implementation it's the result it's seven let's test the the again the first one okay it is it, correct we can also uh we can also uh add it to test case in order to see if the also the schema validation it's okay okay 
as you can see everything is, is, is green so the, the schema uh, the output schema is correct we move also the, the sum to the test case okay the same test case we add the schema validation okay let's check if everything is okay okay perfect so even uh, the uh, the sum is correct. So if we modify, uh, it, it's uh, it's okay. Um, there is one thing I want to uh, modify. For example, I want to add a new number here uh, in order to understand if uh, I can um, br break something. Okay. Uh, as you can see, if I add uh, another um, another tag, uh, they don't break, break anything. So, uh, this is uh, because uh, at the moment the um, MuleSoft uh, don't uh, insert any validation. Okay, in order to insert a validation and an inbound validation, we have to move back to to MuleSoft. Okay, Le let's stop. Let's. Uh, 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 modify this API kit configuration uh, we just uh, uh, enable this uh, inbound validation okay so if we enable this validation okay we run again the um, the service okay uh, now we go back to uh, SOAP UI. Uh, if everything is okay, um, MuleSoft must raise an error because uh, they don't recognize this number three uh, tag. Okay, in the previous configuration, uh, there is any there isn't any error uh, because they they don't have any uh, inbound validation, uh, and uh, now they must uh, uh, respond with an error. Let's see if uh, is. Uh, is ready okay let's add let's uh, rerun okay as you can see uh, there is a there is an error okay number three was not found so uh, the validation it's uh, perfect we just uh, remove this this new uh, tag and uh, the, the the service uh, responds back uh, correctly if we add new fields in position number three number three there is an error okay perfect in this tutorial you have learned how to create a, a wsdl how to expose a, a web service with MuleSoft, how to add inbound validation and how to test with the soap ui in the next tutorial you will see some security aspect including basic authentication bye